Hi all, uh, welcome back to another session on uh, web methods. So in this session, I would be showing you like how we can do asynchronous invocation of service using uh, UWeb. So generally asynchronous services are important. It is just to make sure that uh, the service is not waiting for something and but the job needs to be done. It's like you're triggering a service you're doing a process and it needs to trigger some other process, but it need not wait for the other ones to be uh, saying that, okay, I will wait for your response. So it will definitely hamper the uh, uh, total service time. So asynchronous processing are really needed for kicking up the process and for smooth functioning of uh, the integrations. So to achieve asynchronous processing using UM, uh, what we'll be using is mostly uh, we'll be using the services of uh, from WM Public. In JMS, we have send and wait and wait for reply. So uh, now what I'll be doing is I'll create uh, those services and publish the message and we'll also wait for the uh, response and see how uh, that can be done. So for doing this concept, we'll be using the correlation ID. So when uh, a message is sent, a JMS message ID is created and that message ID is, will be used as a correlation for getting the response from the subscriber service. For this, so let me show you how we can implement this. So I've created a package here, but prior to that, let me create two queues. I went to the integration uh, enterprise manager. You have integration enterprise manager, I'll say it as Synchronous request. And the other one is asynchronous response. So now here I'll create some services. One is for publishing the service. And I'll name it as publish. And as I said, I'll be using the send and wait and wait for reply. So the send and uh, wait service expects these inputs, which is connection alias name, destination name, destination type, and the destination reply to, and the destination type. And uh, we need to uh, hard code the value of async to be true to have this asynchronous processes working. So what I'll do is I'll just, uh, to pub dot jms colon and then wait and the service is for waiting a reply once you receive it. This is done. So here, what I'm going to do now, it's to get the details of JMS uh, uh, messaging connection alias. So I'll get it from the integration server. And this is my connection alias name I'm going to use. So I'll set the connection alias name. And the destination name is asynchronous request. So this is the one. And the destination type is Q. And my destination name for response is response, RES. And the type is also Q. So as I said, 
here the, we need to use the async type to true. And that's it. So from here, we will get the once the JMS message is published and it is waiting for the queue, we need the JMS messaging ID because the wait for reply looks for the correlation ID. The correlation ID is nothing but headers and JMS message ID. So now we have created the publisher. So let me create the subscriber for the same. So I have created a subscribe service. This would be my inputs for it. So once I receive a message, I wanted to send a message back saying that I have received the response from, uh, received this JMS message and this is the reply which you are uh, waiting for. So in typical uh, JMS messaging, what we generally do is we used to send the message and in the subscriber, we used to keep a debug log saying that, okay, I've sent a message and you mm -hmm. received a message. But here we are sending a response back saying that, okay, I have received your uh, message. So let's see, let's copy this. Destination name will come from apply to. Destination type is. JMS correlation ID, so I'll go here. The JMS correlation ID. So JMS correlation ID is mapped from the JMS message ID. So JMS message ID here. This one. So the team know that okay, I'm going to respond back saying that I received your uh, message here. So the correlation uh, ID setup, so you are uh, good to request and uh, response mechanism. So, see that Since we are sending the messages to the queues and respond to receiving the messages from queues. So we need a trigger to capture the uh, mm -hmm. uh, message actually. So queue, queue message. So for that, I'll create a JMS trigger and say it as uh, pub sub. Select the JMS connection alias name. See the request message. I wanted to send it to the subscribers.
the message is sent for that the message JMS message ID is 1C ending with 1C80 and it says the JMS reply to is this so we received the response back and if you see the JMS correlation ID which is same as the JMS message ID so this is how you link the request and response and so you will get the response but the response that is expected. So this is how you perform the uh, JMS send and wait and uh, use wait and reply to perform the async processing. And in short, we can say that to receive the response of uh, asynchronous message sent to make sure that everything has worked correctly. Thank you.